Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to speed up an audio in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure that this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you have not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the app store and download it and after opening it up you'll be greeted by this main page right here which is the home page where we can get started with finding all the instruments we can play we can open up the audio recorder and so on so let's go ahead and see how to speed up our track in GarageBand so let's go ahead and open up audio recorder right here as you can see this is now going to open up this new menu right here where we can get started recording our track so you can either import a track you already have or you can record a new one an instrument doesn't matter it works the same for all so as you can see by clicking the big red circle right here at the top of the screen it's going to start the recording process and now we can get started with adding our effects as you can see we have our effects right here where we can manage all our info and so on and basically guys what we want to do is take a look at all the options that we have for editing so if you click on the sliders option right here in the upper left corner you'll be able to find all the options that we have such as the plugins and equalizer we have the master effects and so on but sometimes this is not what we want to use so if you open up mixing mode right here that's going to open up your tracks that we can find so you can see we have our audio recorder track right here and grand piano as you can see once you click on your track you can tap on it and now we have the option to go ahead and split it we can split it and so on we also have the settings options right here and guys as you can see once you click on on the settings options you can see that you have your speed right here so you can go ahead and manage your speed you can change it to two times uh you can change it to maybe health the speed or whatever you want to set and this is how you can go ahead and set your new speed and it will be able to change immediately in your mixing mode right here but yeah guys basically that is it how to do it so i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel so you guys thank you for watching take care and bye